Hi, I'm Adam Ware here with Gibson Fines. We're the personal trainers here at Division Street in Pawtucket. I'm here to talk to you about some endurance testing you should do before you start an exercise regimen. First off, we're going to have Gibson do a plank. If you're not familiar, you're going to be on your elbows and your toes. We want a straight line from the shoulders to the hips and then down to the ankles. Our goal is to hold this proper form as long as we can. Now, maximum would be 60 seconds. After that, we would do some sort of different plank variation to make it harder. Our next endurance test is a push-up test. So most of us know how to do a proper push-up. We want the hands below the shoulders, knees straight, abs nice and tight, and now Gibson's gonna demonstrate a standard push-up. This is a difficult exercise, but does hit on many things in the body. We wanna to try to do as many as we can. So this is not timed, it's just how many reps you can do. Many of us can't do a push-up from the floor, so then we would modify it. We find a stable table or a countertop, we put the hands on there, same form, and then we go ahead and do push-ups from there. The closer your feet are, the easier the exercise will be. If we bring the feet out, we decrease the angle, and then we make the exercise more difficult. Our next test that we're gonna do is called a sit to stand test. So for this one, it's very much a squat, but we're gonna do it until our rear end hits a chair, and then we're gonna come back up. So with your feet shoulder width apart, you want to put the arms out. That's going to give you a little counterbalance, make the squat just slightly easier. You're going to bend at the knees and the hips, tap, and then back up. For this one, we want to count. We want a timer going on for 60 seconds. And you're going to see how many of these you can do in 60 seconds. If you get to 10 and you can't do any more, that's it. That's your baseline. Once again, we retest in a week or two. We want to make sure we use the same chair because if the height of the chair is different, it's going to change how difficult the exercise was. So with those exercises that we just showed you, it'll give you a good baseline when you're starting your exercise routine. If you have any problems with these, or rather have further direction from a personal trainer, feel free to give us a call. We'll set you up with a free consult and give you the options that are available to you. Thank you.